Two-year-old Stormzy has a rap sheet a mile long. Calm down. Did I give you that? No. Stormzy. Catherine got Stormzy after a divorce to help daughter Phoebe through a rough patch. I bought him at eight weeks old. Instantly fell in love with him. He's been my baby ever since. Get down! No. But two years on, Catherine's lost all control. Drags me out in the road. I'm scared we're going to get run over by a car. It's all playful on his part, but he's not stopping when I tell him. We're not going till you behave. He's so dangerous on the lead that Catherine has to exercise him in a nearby field. Let go. This doesn't work anymore. Let go. Stormzy, leave it. Stormzy, enough. But getting just a few feet up the road... Let go. ..is a fight for survival. Leave it now. Stormzy. Stormzy, look. Ow. Do you want to go for a walk? This is how we start every walk. And when they get there, the real battle begins. Stormzy, come back. Come here now. I do get quite anxious, cos you just never know what's going to happen. I've got blood on me. I'm not sure if it's from me or the dog. Oh, it's from me. Part the side of my thumb with his tooth. Stormzy, come on now. Adding insult to injury, Stormzy's recall is a canine catastrophe. Oh, sorry, we're trying to work on his recall, but... Come here, Stormzy. Come here. His, his recall's not very good, is it? People are accusing me of owning a dangerous dog. No, come back. Stormzy! I'd just like to walk out the house, you know, just look like a dignified, competent dog owner and not the crazy woman who can't control her doberman. Sometimes he likes to listen to classical music. It's easier to give in to Stormzy because he sulks and he's like the baby of the family. I've told the kids he is my favourite child, just like having a little lap dog. But with Catherine about to start teacher training... Stormzy, come back! Stormzy needs a few lessons. Drop it! Oh, uh, the football's kind of got a hole in it. Shh. You'll never notice. My parents are going to look after him, but they're older and not in great health. When I set off to walk him, he's excited. He pulls. And it doesn't help me, because I started with sciatica last year. It's the pulling that's the problem, but... It'd be easier if we could let him off the lead, but we're not sure if he'll come back. Graham's seen how difficult Stormzy is with Catherine, but before he can help, he needs to walk him and work out how deep the issues go. First thing, switching Stormzy's harness for a collar. The harness was here, so he just sticks his chest into it and off he goes, dragging you in circles. Using a collar will give Graham more control. Come on, in. Come on, Stormzy. Good boy. Yay! This is what I thought would happen. Stormzy's a nightmare for Catherine, but for me, he's as good as gold. It's a classic case of confidence. Stormzy needs to understand who's in charge, and that's what I need to work on with Catherine. So if the lead's too long, clearly he can get too far away from us. So you want a little bit of slack, but not too much. That's about right. So on my walk, I'm saying, right, you, young man, your job is really simple. Whatever I do, you do. So if I walk without even saying a word, He's walking. Oi. To stand any chance of taking control, Catherine will need to keep Stormzy by her side and not let him lead her. So all I'm doing is, every time he starts to get away from me, I'm just letting him know that's naughty. The sound I'm making is ah, or even no, and then he's just getting a little flick back um, on the collar. Now, this isn't a great big bang or yank. We're not trying to hurt him, obviously. What we are doing is going, oi, excuse me, you, listen to me. There you go. Now. So, uh, no. That's it. Now that needs to be a bit faster. A bit on off. Good boy. Ah, uh, no. Don't let him. Right. So if he does that, walk through him if you have to. Bump, bump your way through if necessary. No. So that was quite a long duration. That looked like even him back. Yeah, short <laughs> no. tug. Yeah. I'm after it. Oh, you. So in other words, we send out the signal and he brings himself back. Right. What you're doing there is physically oh, right. muscling pulling, him yeah, back. Pulling you know. him back. That's a different picture this morning. I'm really pleased how that's going. We're walking like civilised dog owners. <laughs> nope. This morning, a walk meant risking life and limb for Stormzy 
and Catherine. Now under Graham's guidance, teacher-to-be Catherine is starting to discipline her Doberman. She's learning with a quick tug of the lead how to say no for the very first time. No. That's it. Brilliant, because that's you going your no. speed, not his. Storms is responding really well, but being in charge doesn't come naturally to Catherine, and she's got some concerns. I do worry about him sulking and upsetting him, but he seems happy. I think that's the main thing, that you worry that he won't love you anymore if you tell him off. <laughs> well, yeah, I just, I just don't like to see him upset. No, I understand. In order to make Stormzy understand exactly what's expected of him when his name is called, Graham is using a 20-metre training lead. Stormzy, here! By calling his name and giving a sharp flick of the lead, Stormzy returns to Graham, who rewards his efforts with a treat. Stormzy, here! Yay! Brilliant. There you go. Listen, I might sound a bit silly, but I don't care if the dog's coming back. With Stormzy a star pupil, Graham's keen to see if Catherine can call him to her. So, right, any time you're ready. Stormzy, here! But Stormzy doesn't respond, and Graham thinks he knows why. So when I did it, it's Stormzy, here! Like that. There you go. When you do it, it's a bit more Stormzy, here. Yeah. It's nice, <laughs> but it's a bit subdued. So let's turn the volume up and turn up the bright excitement, you know? So we'll do it again. So nice and bright. Stormzy, here! Great, look Good at that. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. That's it. Stormzy, here! Go on, go, go, go. Come on. Super Good excited. Boy. Go on. There you go. Stormzy, here! Brilliant. Good boy. With her confidence growing, Catherine finds her voice. But in the park, Stormzy won't be on a long training lead. So can Catherine get him back using only her voice? Stormzy, who's a good lad? Hello. Right, call him when you're ready, Catherine. Stormzy, here! Look at that. Good boy. Good boy. Fantastic. A few days ago, Stormzy's recall was non-existent. Now, for the first time ever, Catherine has him off the lead and returning to her command. Look at that, that hand right there. Good boy. He's coming back every time then. Good boy. So I knew we'd make progress, but I didn't really in my wildest dreams think that we would have him off lead and responding like that to Mum's command. Great. Wrap the lead around your hand and you need a loose loop, um, like um, a J, like that, and your arm down by your side. And if he does pull, then you need to say, oi, no, and a flick on the lead to bring him back. Right. Good boy. Well, Malcolm's taking control. He's been drilled by his daughter. <laughs> Quite funny to watch that, really. I've got Malcolm walking with the stick with a Doberman who, not so very long ago, would have had him completely off his feet. And actually, I'm stood here talking to you, and I'm not really feeling the need to rush round there any minute because there's an emergency. I think we're on the right track. And then it's just a little flick, um, rather than a, a long pull. That's what I've been doing, too. Yeah, you mustn't have a tense lead. That's very good, though. Did you think we could get to this stage with your dad walking with his stick and, and Stormzy when we first met? This is a huge improvement. He's, he's far calmer and he's, he's paying more attention. There's no doubt about that. It's a milestone moment for Catherine. Less than a week ago, Stormzy couldn't be trusted on the lead. Now Catherine's taught her father how to safely walk her once defiant Doberman. Yeah, my dad seems to be doing really well. It's like proud mummy moment watching uh, my baby walk so nicely up and down the road. And if we keep on with that, um, I'm sure it'll be perfect within a few weeks. It'll, it'll be the dog I've always hoped <laughs> it would be. But I do feel a lot happier knowing that he's not going to hurt my mum and dad by pulling. Malcolm's doing really well, and that's great news, because if I hadn't been able to get them walking together, it would have been a nightmare for Catherine with her new career. But I'm happy to leave them, safe in the knowledge that Stormzy is a perfect pupil.